trillions of planets and moons that populate the universe, only one is near enough to travel into our own planet's shadow. That talent belongs to the moon. And when that happens, the result is a total lunar eclipse. That's why SLU, with its worldwide space cameras located in South Africa, Dubai, and Cyprus, teamed up with Google to broadcast the eclipse of June 15, 2011, live where it was viewed by millions. SLU's coverage, sponsored by Transformers Dark of the Moon, generated over 2,000 articles and social buzz that was off the charts. Google even created a spectacular lunar eclipse Google Doodle that day using SLU's live feeds. During the eclipse's partial stages that we're seeing now, the full moon suffers a bizarre series of distorted faces. But then, it's usually followed by a total eclipse that is not black, but red. Would that happen again this time? As we watch the event unfold, we see that the first bite out of the moon was inky black. And because the round curve is our own planet's shadow, this is proof that we really do live on a ball, since only a sphere always throws a round shadow. SLU will broadcast all the cool live astronomy events in the coming months and years involving planets, comets, eclipses, transits, you name it. The countdown clock is already ticking down to our next event. And you can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter or use your favorite mobile device to watch our shows live. For now, watch our planet's shadow change from black to a strange red. The eclipse moon doesn't have to be red. It can be pale pink or beige, or it can even vanish altogether. It all depends on clouds and dust around Earth's limb. This is the only occasion when a celestial body gives us a report card about ourselves. Coppery red means everything is normal. Black means that our atmosphere is heavily polluted, usually from volcanoes. And here is totality. If you were a tourist on the moon right now, you'd see the black Earth surrounded by a brilliant red ring, which is all of Earth's sunrises and sunsets combined into a continuous halo around our planet. This ruddy light is the only illumination being cast onto the eclipsed moon's surface. And the red grew pretty dark this time, since it went right into the middle of Earth's shadow. This particular eclipse is rather rare. Usually the moon just clips the top or bottom of our shadow. Lunar eclipses appear best through low power and wide field, so that's exactly the SLU telescopes that are being used right now. If you are interested in learning more about controlling SLU telescopes, where you can snap, personalize, and share your picture, make sure to visit our homepage at slu.com or click the SLU logo. With recent Icelandic volcanoes, nobody knew exactly what to expect from this eclipse, which is why SLU and Google were so excited to present it live. Turns out, it was a normal eclipse. As the full moon now returns, we have learned that the report card on our planet's environmental health earned us an A. The great lunar eclipse is over, but the parade of special live celestial events brought to you by SLU is just beginning.